Why, hello there. It's time to... Why, hello there. It's orange juice time with J.P. Letnick. Ah, refreshing. Welcome back with J.P. Letnick, Sapphire SEO, Blog Builder Basics. In this edition, we are going to show you how to install a theme from Elegant Themes onto your blog. Now, let's say you have already created an account with Elegant Themes, and you are in your members area, and you have 79 beautiful themes to choose from, and you've already taken a look at a bunch of them in the theme layout, um, in the live previews, and you've chosen one. Now, what you're going to do first is go find whichever one you want, click on the download button, click on theme package, it'll automatically download to your downloads, so let that do its little thing. There we go. Alright, that's done. See right there? It's done. Good. Simple. Got it. Alright. So let's go ahead and go to a site that hasn't had a theme installed on it yet. So for me, I'm just going to choose a random domain that I have. It's called Love You Anna. And uh, in the address bar, type in the forward slash WP dash admin to go to the dashboard screen to log in. I uh, put in username and password. Hopefully I have mine right. Yes, there we go. Um, don't save my password. Now, if you need to update your uh, WordPress, go ahead and update your WordPress now. Just click on the WordPress update. Click the update now on the next screen. It'll update for you. And it will update for you. There we go. We're updated. Now, to install the theme, what you need to do is go to Appearance. Just hover your mouse over it. Click on Themes. You're going to click on Install Themes, click on Upload, click the Choose File, go to your Downloads folder, and find it in this mess of files that I have. Uh, now, we downloaded Harmony, so we're going to go find Harmony zip file. Uh, we're going to scroll down, scroll down, Harmony, there it is. So, we found the zip file right here. Double click on it or just left click on it once and click open. Either way, it doesn't matter. You're going to see it show up here, the name, and click install now. Fairly simple. You don't need any file transfer protocol programs like we used to with Thesis. You don't have to customize any uh, background folders. Everything is just there. You do it. You're cool. You click activate once it's installed, and you're going to get all these different pop ups and whatnot. And it's going to be a little crazy. I just dismiss everything. Uh, but at the top, you're going to get, this is a fresh installation of Harmony Theme. Don't forget to go to ePanel to set it up. This message will disappear once you have clicked the Save button within the Theme Page Options. So, I just click on Theme Options Page, which is right there. Scroll down to the bottom. Uh, I turn on Use Excerpts When Defined, because you're going to need that later on, most likely, anyway. And click Save. Options saved. A little message that pops up in the middle. You're good to go. Go ahead and either visit site or I right click on it and open a new tab so that I can stay on my dashboard. And here we are. Uh, the theme is installed and that is beautiful. I mean, right there is just a already sexy looking design comparatively to what you had before. And uh, that's how you install a theme. Now, customizing it will all be on the, I mean, that'll be on the next. Uh, video. Uh, we're not going to go too... Actually, you know what? Let's just do it right now. Uh, since we're not going to go in depth of how to customize the theme, simply because each theme is specific. Uh, it has its own layouts. Uh, they're not all looking the same, as you can obviously tell. This is going to be a little different than the other ones. Um, so, essentially, how you customize your design. is In appearance, just like before, you can see Harmony Theme Options. That's where we're at. So, appearance, Harmony Theme Options. The ePanel is the exact same, um, as in ePanel will show up for every theme that you have in the Elegant Themes. However, the settings will be different. You'll have different tabs up here, you have different sections down below. If you want to upload a logo, you click Upload Image in the Logo section. Make sure to always click Save when you're done. If you want to upload a new Favicon, Fav Favicon you upload the image here, click Save at the bottom. 
Favicon, if you don't know, is this little image up here at the, in the address bar that shows up for different sites that you're on. And also at the top, you can see these tabs, they all have different little favicons. Pretty cool. Um, custom section, uh, he header section custom background. So this right here, for example, it's not on most other themes, but it is this section right here. It's this background in the header. See, it disappears. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, featured song section, custom background. Uh, if you want, don't know what it is, just click the question mark. If you want to use your own background image for the featured song section on the home page, click the upload image. So uh, click the question mark if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Basically what that means. Uh, media gallery section, custom background, uh, because if you look at the live preview of this theme, um, which I think we actually might have to go into the members area. Here we go. Preview. If we preview Harmony, you can see this is the, the header background, but then you've also got, aha, uh -huh, see? See? Sneaky. You've got different backgrounds for the different sections. That's pretty darn cool, isn't it? They're using HTML5, HTML5 for that aspect. Um, so, awesome little things that you can do with this type of a theme. Everything is customized in the background here. If you have any questions that you don't understand, go down to the bottom support docs, read Harmony documentation, click that, it pulls up everything you need to know about the specific theme that you have installed, which is really helpful. So how to install your theme, adding thumbnails, defining a custom logo image, adding songs, creating new events, managing your media gallery, selling merchandise, customizing background images, la da 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 And if you have any problems, of course, there's always also um, the members area support. So that's how you install a theme. Kind of went a little overboard with that, um, but that's how you install your theme. You can customize it easily through your back office through the ePanel, uh, and of course, if you need any help, just go to the support documentation in the ePanel, and it pulls up everything you need to know about that specific theme. Because there's 79 themes, I'm not going through all of them all today, um, probably ever, because it's all there already. And uh, yeah. On the next video, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do to uh, outsource the header designs, uh, getting logos, getting some graphics so that you don't infringe on copyrights, and you are all legal. Uh, so yeah, on the next video, I'll see you then.